moving on to the ACC, let's talk about a Friday night game. And Hugh let us down. I mean, what the hell's going on? Liberty loses at Syracuse 24-21. And I will tell you this. Dino Babers, Carrier Dome Magic, my friend. Garrett Schrader at quarterback is a calming presence for this team. And they their offensive line is actually able to run block a little bit. They had 228 yards rushing on 53 carries. That's 4.3 a clip, three touchdowns in this game. Garrett Schrader did not have to pass, but he is mobile at quarterback, and he is the calming presence in that huddle that actually allows them to be a semi-competent football team. At Liberty, I, I don't know... I don't know what the game plan was. Like, when I was watching that game, I thought, I don't know if they know what they're, what they're doing. Like, they, Malik Willis looked good. 14 out of 19 passing, 205 yards, three touchdowns. He had 17 carries for 49 yards. This was, did you watch this game? Yeah, I did. I, so, so I, let me, so let me tell you what I believe. <laughs> All right, go ahead. You're using a lot of numbers and you're using a lot of logic and you're trying to use a lot of analytics, Okay. You, you need to stop all that. <laughs> Thursday and Friday football games. This year, I don't know of a home dog that hasn't covered, and I think over half of them have won outright. We have to stop betting against them. Yep. If you have a home team catching points, you just take the points, and and, and, and over 50%, I would bet, that the, these weeknight games, you just have to stop. I don't think that Syracuse found something. I don't think that Louisville magically found something. I think these teams play outside of their mind at home on these weeknight games where they have the entire country watching them and nothing else. Yeah, uh, that's that's possible. Hey, you, you know what we got coming up this Friday? No, I haven't looked at this late. Iowa at Maryland. I'm so stoked oh, about shit. this. I'm so stoked about this. <laughs> I, bet, I bet Maryland's catching a touchdown, too. I bet they're catching more than that. Oh my God! I bet it's more than that. I mean, well, obviously, we're bet on Maryland, but we're gonna have to. Well, I mean, you know, you have to. No, you, yeah. you just you know, you have you, you have to. You have to. I can't. I can't explain voodoo. I can't explain the mystics of the things that happen in football. It's just one of those games where just too many outside forces that have nothing to do with the people practicing, preparing, and playing in the game. Okay. And if you don't believe in that shit, then why are you watching football? Why are you watching sports? Because that's all sports is, by the way. It's that's, just magical shit happening. And uh, we're watching with the hope that we get to see it. Syracuse, of course, covered this week. Illinois covered as a home dog last week. Uh, Louisville covered as a home dog last week. You and, just look at the Friday game. You're not even looking at the Thursday game. Well, but there, there's not been home dogs on Thursdays. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Um, that's right. So, home dog. Last week, uh, we had two games going. They were both home dogs. Both of them covered. One one outright. Uh, week two, there were no home dogs. And no week no one, dogs. let's see, we had, da, 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 and there was a lot of Thursday. Minnesota nearly covered as a home dog. Uh, let's Minnesota see. did cover Ohio State. No, I thought that line well, was Well, they might not have closed, a covered the closing line. They had the closing line they didn't, but that game opened up bigger than 14. Yeah, I, I think uh, it, it got down to 13. Cause I, so I bet Ohio State at 13 and a half. So I did get the I win. never saw it get below 14. It was it was 13 and a half on Tuesday of that week and Wednesday. And then by Thursday, it was, it was, it was no, no, by Wednesday, it was 14. So like Monday and Tuesday, it was 13 and a half. Um, yeah, I don't see any other. No, there, there weren't any home dogs on. Uh, but so far, every home dog has covered. Most of them are one outright. On, on weeknights. Yeah. We just, we just have to stop trying to overthink this, which just sucks because now we've got a game where there's a team I like and there's a team I don't like, and I'm think, just going to uh, have to hey, trust it. This Friday, so we've got uh, BYU at Utah State on a Friday night. I think BYU oh, will shit. be favored. We have yeah. Houston. And, B- and Utah State looked like crap against Boise. Now, I mean, what's crazy, they they had turnovers killed them, and they, they had a bunch BYU's of yards. BYU's going to take the ball away? BYU got taken to uh, to the very end of the game against South Florida, and now oh, they got to yeah, go on sure, the road sure, to Logan. So we'll see. Uh, Houston at Tulsa is on Friday night, and Houston might be a, a slight favorite there. We'll see. I don't know that Houston's going to be a favorite in that game. Uh, Houston hadn't looked great. No, they have not. No, they, Houston hadn't looked great, and Tulsa had a pretty good showing this weekend. So, so all that said, uh, cheers to Syracuse for getting that W. Yeah, uh, because yeah. that's but I, mean, I that's don't. A big but win. I don't believe Syracuse found something. I, I I love Dino Babers. 
I don't think this fixes Syracuse's problems. I don't think, I think it was the mystics and the magic of, of the weeknight game. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com. And if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter at GaryWCE, at Chris B. Giannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.